In this After Effects tutorial, we're going to create 10 awesome text animations using only built-in tools, no third-party plugins needed. You'll learn how to design bouncy, eye-catching, and creative text reveals step-by-step. -step. Plus, I'll show you some cool tricks where you can generate different animations with just a single click. And as a bonus, I'll guide you through saving these animations as presets so you can reuse them anytime in your future projects. Sounds exciting? Let's roll the intro. Let's get started with our first text animation. We already have a text layer in place. First, open the text layer, click on the animate button, and choose scale. Set the scale value to 0%. Make sure your playhead is at the first frame. Then open the range selector and set the offset value to negative 100%. And add a keyframe to the offset property. Now move to the one second mark and change the offset value to 100%. To refine the look, open the advanced section, change the shape to ramp up, then set ease high to 50% and ease low to 100%. This will give the animation a smoother and more organic movement. To enhance it further, turn on the motion blur for this layer and also enable it from the top bar so it affects the render. If you also want to create an animation out, go to the time where you want it to start fading Select both offset keyframes, copy them, and paste them at the new time. Then right-click on the newly pasted keyframes, go to Keyframe Assistant, and choose Time Reverse Keyframes. This will reverse the animation, creating a seamless in and out effect. You now have a smooth text animation with both in and out transitions. Great, let's quickly move on to the second animation. To keep things efficient, I'm keeping the previous text animation in place so we don't have to redo the same steps. First, click on Add, go to Properties, and choose Position. Change the Y position value to a higher number, like 200. This gives the text a smooth bounce-in feel from below. Since we've already set up the in and out animation structure earlier, it will automatically work with this new position effect. Now for the third animation, click on Add again, go to Properties, and this time choose Rotation. Set the rotation angle to around 60 degrees, this adds a nice rotating entry to the text as it animates in. For the fourth animation, we'll duplicate the first animator. Select Animator 1 and press Ctrl or Command plus D to duplicate it. In this one, change the position value to negative 150 so it moves in from the top instead. We don't need the scale or rotation properties here, so go ahead and remove those. All other settings like Ease High and Ease Low will stay the same. To time it better, move the new keyframes a few frames ahead so the animation layers over the previous ones smoothly, adding to the bouncy effect. Now let's make one more animation. This time we're starting fresh with no animation. Click on Animate and select Blur. This gives us a whole new style to explore next. Change the blur value to around 50. Then open the range selector and on the offset property, start adding keyframes just like we did in the previous animations. I'll fast forward through this step since we're repeating the same method to animate the text. Once done, you'll see the text animating in with a soft blur effect. However, it doesn't feel quite right yet. Something's missing. So to enhance it, click on Add, go to Property, and choose Opacity. Change the Opacity value to 0%. This makes the text fade in along with the blur, giving it a smoother and more refined look. And just like that, we have our fifth animation. Let's now add another property to enhance the motion. Go to Add, select Tracking, and set the tracking amount to around 30. This spreads the characters apart as they animate in. Now it's time to create a completely different look. First, remove all the previous effects from the text layer so we can start fresh. Click on Add, then go to Property and choose Opacity again. Set the Opacity to 0%. But this time, enable Randomize Order in the Range Selector settings. Once you play the animation, you'll notice a cool, flickering text reveal where each character appears randomly. Now we'll enhance the animation by playing with the random seed value, which helps make the animation feel more organic and less predictable. Make sure you're at the first frame and add a keyframe on the random seed property. Then move forward in the timeline to the point where the animation ends and change the random seed value to something different. This will cause the characters to flicker in randomly with new patterns each time. Let's move on to the next animation. Click on Animate and choose Enable Per Character 3D. 
This enables 3D properties for each character individually, allowing for more advanced effects. Now click on Animate again and choose Anchor Point. Change the Z-axis Anchor Point value to a higher number. 250 works well in this case. Then open the range selector and animate the offset property as we've done before. I'll skip the detailed steps here since the animation method remains the same. If you are finding this video helpful, please consider subscribing to this channel. Now click on Add, go to Property, and choose Rotation. Set the X rotation value to 83 degrees. We're using this specific angle so the characters begin from a flat angle where they're not visible and then rotate into place. You'll now see a cool 3D rotating text reveal. If the animation doesn't look quite right, try adjusting the anchor point Z value to tweak the rotation center. You might also need to adjust the rotation angle slightly to get the perfect reveal. Now the animation is looking much better and more professional. Let's make another animation. We don't have any animation applied right now, so click on Animate, then choose Enable Per Character 3D. Open Animator 1 and click on Add. Go to Property and choose Rotation. Now change the rotation value to around 58 degrees. I'm experimenting with different rotation values for X and Y axis to see how it looks. And this is what I've got so far. It's starting to look interesting. Now click on Add again, go to Property and choose Scale. I'm setting the scale value to 0% so that the text doesn't appear from its original size. It animates in from nothing, which adds a really cool effect. Great. Now click on Add, go to Property and choose Anchor Point. I'm adjusting the anchor point values and you'll notice the animation look changes entirely based on where the anchor point sits. This is the fun part. Just by changing one property, you get a totally different style of animation. You can even count these as bonus variations of the same text animation technique. Now I'm randomly tweaking the anchor point values to see how many variations I can come up with. Again, click on Add, go to Property, and this time choose Position. Change the position's X and Y values to something higher, and you'll instantly get another unique look. If you want to focus only on this, you can reset the anchor point values to default and only adjust the position for a cleaner approach. Finally, I'll tweak the anchor point Z to axis value to add some more depth. And that gives us yet another different animation. Let's see how you can save your text animation as a preset. First, make sure your animation is ready. Open your text layer and locate the animator one inside it. This is where all your animation settings are applied. If you are using more than one animator, like animator one and animator two, make sure to select all of them. But for this tutorial, we are only using Animator 1. Now, with the animator selected, go to the top menu, click on Animation, and then choose Save Animation Preset. By default, After Effects will save your preset inside the User Presets folder. Do not change anything unless you plan to share it with others. Give your preset a name and click Save. Now you will find your saved preset inside Effects and Presets, then under Animation Presets, and finally inside user presets. If you do not see it right away, simply restart After Effects. To check if it is working, just create a new text layer and double click on the preset. Your animation will be applied instantly. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, good luck and peace.